Welcome to this new activity, which is an application of, uh, to economics of the derivative. So we have the total cost in hundreds of dollars of producing x cell phones per day is c of x equals 10 plus the square root of 2x plus 16 for x between 0 and 50. The first question is compute c prime of x. So let's write c of x differently. We're going to write it as 10 plus 2x plus 16 to the power of half to be able to use the power rule. C prime of x will be equal. The derivative of 10 is 0. The derivative of 2x plus 16 to the power of half is half times the derivative of 2x plus 16, which is 2, times 2x plus 16 to the power of negative half. Okay? This is C prime of x. We can write it differently if you want. So C prime of x can be written as we can cancel the half and the 2. We can write 2x plus 16 to the power of negative half as 1 over 2x plus 16 to the power of half or square root of 2x plus 16. Okay? Now, second question. Find c prime of 24 and c prime of 42 and interpret the results. So, first, let's compute c prime of 24. You substitute x by 24 in the c prime expression here, and you're going to find 1 over 8, or 0 0.125. The units will be dollars, or hundreds of dollars, sorry. Of dollars per cell phone, okay? So, per cell phone, because the units of C is hundreds of dollars. We are producing cell phones, so the units is hundreds of dollars per cell phone. Now, what is the interpretation of this result? The derivative of C at 24 is the cost of the next unit. It means this 0 0.125, which is equal also to 12.5, if we multiply by hundreds to get it in dollars. Okay, so the units here is dollars per cell phone. This is the cost of the 25th phone. So the interpretation is that the cost of the 25th cell phone means the next unit will be equal to 12. 0.5 dollars is 12.5 dollars. So here we are using the marginal analysis. Now we compute C prime of, sorry, is it, yes, of 42, C prime of 42. Again, you substitute X by 42 in the C prime expression. You will find that it's 1 over 10 or 0 0.1 hundreds of dollars, so hundreds of dollars per cell phone. Or if you multiply by 100, you will get it in dollars per cell phone. It means it's 10 dollars per cell phone, okay? What is the interpretation of this C prime of 42? It's the cost of the 43rd unit, okay? So here, it's the cost, so we're going to write that the cost of the 43rd cell phone is $10, okay? We are done with this activity, guys, so see you in the next videos. Thank you.